G'day, welcome to the channel. I'm going to do some supercharged burpees again, but also we're going to be doing slam balls and kettlebells and anything else that I fancy today. And I want to shout out Lee Hazard from Strong Conditioned. I'm officially calling him out to try my supercharged burpees routine. Lee, if you haven't seen any videos already, um, the past couple of months I've been following my program that I've come up with after you know years of doing burpees and it's what I think is the perfect routine that gives you the biggest bang for your buck in the shortest amount of time possible. 11 minutes a day, that's all you need I think to stay conditioned, to stay fit, to, to stay ripped, really based on one, the fact that I can work up a really good sweat in 11 minutes and it probably takes 11 minutes to get a sweat going. Two, scientific guidelines out there from the World Health Organization that you should be doing at least, I think it's like um, 75 minutes of vigorous activity a week. This program gets you 77 minutes and like Max Edwards program, 80 minutes. So they're both on par with um, the expert's recommendations. Thirdly, it's based on movements that I consider the best in terms of a whole body workout, the perfect routines for each part of your body. For example, I include a kick out, um, a two pump with a kick out or an army ranger, and that's based on watching one of your videos and how you say that you can do a two pump, but a, a two pump with a kick out is much better. One of your videos, I might put a little link or info bar at the top there to show you which one I'm talking about. But yeah, so the workout is as follows. You do a one pump burpee with a jump. Yes, you have to do a jump. Uh, it makes the workout fun. It just accelerates your heart rate just that bit extra uh, to make it a tough, grueling routine. You go down for uh, two pumps, but in between the two pumps you do a kick out, so an army ranger. And then you go down for a three pump navy seal and then four deep squats um, that's it and you do as many as you can and you do it daily for 11 minutes okay so that's the routine lee i want you to try it because i saw your video today and uh, you bring out some bangers lately bringing out some really good videos and you've got some really good thoughts on different things and i was watching the video where you were talking about conditioning uh, being you know, suitable for people over 35 more than building muscle, but I'd say it's, it's probably the right mindset, the right frame of mind for, for all men out there. You know, like muscle should be brownie, brownie points that you get from the uh, aim of getting conditioned. At some point in life, you'll come up against some challenge and you'll want to be physically able uh, to meet those challenges and to surpass those challenges and muscle muscle alone can't do that and I've known this for a long time uh, just a, cl a classic example that I, that I remember watching that that um, uh, real life TV show uh, Survivor where the castaways are put on an island and they're meant to you know go up against challenges both mental and physical challenges and um, one winner takes home like a million dollars. I remember this buff, jacked, you know, bodybuilder type guy on the island. Every, everybody thought he was going to be an absolute gun in the physical challenges, and he was he was so shit. He gassed out so quickly, and it was all for show. Like bodybuilding is all for show. You're sculpting muscle, but you're not going to necessarily be fit. You're not necessarily going to be conditioned. Going to the gym only gets you so far. It's um, it's the physical activity in itself, working out and training for the purpose of training versus for sculpting the body for aesthetics. That's what should be prioritized. That's what, what's important. So awesome video, awesome thoughts from Lee. Um, I better stand up so I don't get cramps before I work out. So Lee, um, my main point and what I'm trying to get to is my supercharged burpees, they make me look good, but they make me feel better. And I think that was the point of your video. Um, 
this conditions you. This 11 minutes is surprisingly tough if you push yourself. And that's for all workouts. Push yourself and put, it, put in 110% effort and you know, that's gonna be better than putting in 70% effort but working out for 20, 30, 40 minutes, hour, two hours. So um, yeah, all right, let's get on to these supercharged burpees. A good little term for, for these burpees, this routine, comes from Eric McCarty from his live session this morning. He labeled this the, the Swiss Army knife of workouts. You're essentially you know, working your upper body, lower body, getting your heart racing, getting your sweat going in 11 minutes. It's good bang for your buck. It's what supercharged burpee practitioners do. It's what supercharged people do. It's definitely uh, a conditioning workout and um, yeah, going along with the theme of conditioning and being a lethal weapon for different challenges day to day and you know, in life. I'm gonna go on to some slam balls, maybe some, um, some kettlebells, different types of uh, functional fitness, a bit of, um, some functional fitness after this. All right, that's a lot of talk. Let's get on to the supercharged burpee routine. If you're watching this, Try to follow along. I'm going to do uh, two a minute, every minute. I think 22 reps is my baseline right now, and it's a very, very achievable number of reps. It's not about the reps though, it's about pushing yourself just that bit so you, you feel like you're working and um, you feel like you've accomplished something. And so if I can do three reps a minute for you know, a couple of minutes, then I'll do that, but we'll see. One. That's two. This next minute, I'll try to do three. That first minute was a bit of a warm. Five seconds. Did that in? That's good. Voice tough. Do it three minutes. Seven.
Eight. Ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 
20. Daddy Britton says, this is the last part of the workout that counts the most. Do a bit of functional stuff. Um, Twenty kilogram or forty four pound slam ball.
Five minutes.
really flooring the shoulders. Um, more so from a pushing to down position. Still recording. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to go for reps. I'm going to do 10 pure slam balls. Okay. Look good form. Squatting. Squat, lift. If you want to learn ask the grass squats, do this. Gonna go all the way down. You can't be doing that and picking something up. Four, five. Let's go four. I did 500 of these in one session. This is only 12 kg, which is what, maybe like 20, 22 pounds. This is the largest or the heaviest kettlebell in the shop that I bought it from. So yeah, not a sports shop. <laughs> um, at the gym when I was going, I probably got to 20 kg. So same weight as the slam ball. I'm just going to do to failure, swings to failure, and I'm very hesitant with kettlebells because I'm not sure if I'm doing them properly or not, so that's why I film. I'll do these from the side on, so that's how I want to judge myself from the side. Uh, I've got some gloves on, my hands are pretty sweaty, actually. They slip. Uh, just to failure or just to uh, slippage. I don't know whether I'm doing it properly, I feel it in the core. Um, I, my 
my understanding is you don't want to bend your knees too much, so you don't want that. You kind of want to keep them a little bit straight. Just bend, just let the kettlebell bend the knees for you a little bit, but then you're thrusting with your core and hip flexors to get that swing. Um, so if you feel like in your shoulders, you probably use the arms too much. So yeah, I feel it in here. I do feel it's really close to my groin, which is just strange. Like I want to go, I want to go like that. But then I don't see people sticking their ass out like that. So. If anything, it looks a lot. Nice little add on to the supercharge workout. I'm gonna stop it there because I done uh, 20 or 30 minutes over the supercharge. Not sure, but um, yeah. Salute to everybody who is staying in the game, who I'm having you know regular correspondence with. Anyone who's watching this who is new to the channel, doesn't comment, um, but is out there. Try the supercharged workers routine. It will condition your body. You'll pack on a bit of muscle. Um, you'll pack on weight if you're eating at a calorie surplus, even a little bit. I've noticed that the water retention with the supercharged workers is more than just the burping routines, like the strict six counts and Navy seals. Alright, that's all there is to it. Time to get on with my day.